next reviews god bless you um, don't forget to like and subscribe that's very important today i just wanted to read out a scripture to us and mainly the issue is who is your audience and this scripture is going to highlight to us paul's audience like why he did what he did you know how that he didn't put the focus on himself he put the focus on god at all times and even when it hurts especially when it hurt him so we're looking we're looking at first corinthians chapter 4 i just want to read in different versions so you can get light in it so i'm gonna ha have to start with amplified classic it says so then let us apostles be looked upon as ministering servants of christ and stewards and trustees of the mysteries the sacred purposes of god moreover it is essentially required of stewards that a man should be found faithful proving himself worthy of trust but as for me personally it matters very little to me that i should be put on trial by you on this point and that you or any human tribunal should investigate and question and cross question me i do not even put myself on trial and judge myself i am not conscious of anything against myself and i feel blameless but i am not vindicated and acquitted before god on that account it is the lord himself who examines and judges me so do not make any hasty or premature judgments before the time when the lord comes again for he will both bring to light the secret things that are now hidden in darkness and disclose and expose the secret aims, motives, and purposes of hearts. Then every man will receive his due commendation from God. Now I have applied all this about parties and factions to myself and Apollos for your sakes, brethren, so that from what I have said of us as illustrations, you may learn to think of men in accordance with scripture and not to go beyond that which is written. That none of you may be puffed up and inflated with pride and boast in favor of one minister and teacher against another. First Corinthians 4, 1 to 6, Amplified Classic. First Corinthians 4, 1 to 6, King James. Let a man so account of us as of ministers of Christ and stewards of the mysteries of God. Moreover, it is required in stewards that a man be found faithful. But with me, it is a very small thing that I should be judged of you or of man's judgment. Yea, I judge not my own self, for I know nothing by myself. Yet am I not hereby justified, but he that judges me is the Lord. Therefore judge nothing before the time unto the Lord come, who both will bring to light the hidden things of darkness and will make manifest the counsels of the hearts and then shall every man have praise of god and these things brethren i have in a figure transferred to myself and to apollos for your sakes that ye may learn in us not to think of men above that which is written that no one of you will be puffed up for one against another first corinthians 4 1 to 6. first corinthians 4 1 to 6 message translation don't imagine us as leaders to be something we aren't. We are servants of Christ, not his masters. We are guides into God's divine secrets, not security guards posted to protect them. The requirements for a good guide are reliability and accurate knowledge. It matters very little to me what you think of me, even less where I rank in popular opinion. I don't even rank myself. The master makes that judgment. So don't get ahead of the master and jump to conclusions with your judgment before all the evidence is in. When he comes, he will bring out in the open and place in evidence all kinds of things we never even dreamed of, inner motives and purposes and prayers. Only then will any one of us get to hear the well done of God. All I'm doing right now, friends, is showing how these things pertain to Apollos and me so that you will learn restraint and not rush into making judgments without knowing all the facts. It's important to look at things from God's point of view. I'd rather not see you inflating or deflating reputations based on mere years here. I'm going to read the ESV. 
first Corinthians 4 1 6 ESV. This is how one should regard us as servants of Christ and stewards of the mysteries of God. Moreover, it is required of stewards that they be found faithful. But with me, it's a very small thing that I should be judged by you or by any human court. In fact, I do not judge myself. For I am not aware of anything against myself, but I am not thereby acquitted. It is the Lord who judges me. Therefore, do not pronounce judgment before the time, before the Lord comes, who will bring to light the things now hidden in darkness and will disclose the purposes of the heart. They want, then each one will receive his commendation from God. I have applied all these things to myself and Apollos for your benefit, brothers, that ye may learn by us not to go beyond what is written, that none of you may be puffed up in favor of one against another. And TPT is where I'm going to end. The Passion Translation, 1 Corinthians 4, 6. 1 to 6, rather. So then you, may, you must perceive us, not as leaders of factions, but as servants of the Anointed One, those who have been entrusted with God's mysteries. The most important quality of one entrusted with such mysteries is that they are faithful and trustworthy. But personally, I am not least being concerned if I'm judged by you or any verdict I receive from any human court. In fact, I don't even assume to be my own judge, even though my conscience is clear. But that doesn't mean I should I stand acquitted before the Lord, for the only judge I care about is Him. So resist the temptation to pronounce premature judgment on anything before the appointed time when all will be fully revealed. Instead, Wait until the Lord makes his appearance, for he will bring all that is hidden in darkness to light and unveil every secret motive of every man's heart. Then, when the whole truth is known, each one will receive praise from God. Dear brothers and sisters, I've been referring allusively to my servant Apollos in order to illustrate what I've been saying. It is futile to move beyond what is written in the scriptures and be inflated with self-importance by following and promoting one leader in competition with another. Actually, just going to go ahead and read NLT. <laughs> NLT, 1 Corinthians 4, 1-6, to NLT version. So look at Apollos and me as mere servants of Christ who have been put in charge of explaining God's mysteries. Now a person who is put in charge as a manager must be faithful. As for me, it matters very little how I may be evaluated by you or by any human authority. I don't even trust my own judgment on this point. My conscience is clear, but that doesn't prove I'm right. It is the Lord himself who will examine me and decide. So don't make judgments about anyone ahead of time before the Lord returns. For he will bring our darkest secrets to light and will reveal our private motives. Then God will give to each one whatever praise is due. Dear brothers and sisters, I have used Apollos and myself to illustrate what I've been saying. If you pay attention to what I have quoted from the scriptures, you won't be proud of one of your leaders at the expense of another. Praise the Lord. I feel like I've been reading scriptures and reading, 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 and <laughs> it's just beautiful to see, especially verse 4, and especially verse 4 and verse 5. Verse 4 and verse 5. And I would look at verse 4 and verse 5 again in the Passion Translation. Verse 4 says, even though my conscience is clear. But that doesn't mean I stand acquitted before the Lord. For the only judge I care about is Him. So resist the temptation to pronounce premature judgment on anything before the appointed time when all will be fully revealed. Instead, wait until the Lord makes his appearance. For he will bring all that is hidden in darkness to light and unveil every secret motive of everyone's heart. Then, when the whole truth is known, each one will receive praise from God. This explains why Apostle Paul went above and beyond above and beyond he says i don't care about what people say about me i don't even care what the church institutions say about me i don't even care what the court will say about me whether they pronounce me free or bound i just care about him 
for the only judge I care about is him. Who are you living for? Who is your heart bare before? Why are you doing what you do? Because it says, judge nothing before it time. it's time it follows. It says nothing before it's time because the whole truth is not known to us, it's known to God. And when he reveals the whole truth, what will be his response to you? My encouragement this morning is, if you can't ponder on the scriptures, let your heart be in the right place. Let the reason why you do what you do be right. Let the motives be right. He says, I, if there's anything you're taking today, for the only judge I care about is him. But the, the beginning of, of verse 4, he says, even though my conscience is clear, you might have a clean conscience, you might think you're right, you know, you might think, you know, you may be puffed up for one reason or another. You might think you're right about your opinions of people. But judge nothing before it's time. Because the only judge we care about is God. And he alone has the total facts, the thoughts and intents of the heart, the motives, the reason why you pray, the prayers that you pray. Make sure your heart is in the right place. Make sure you're living for the audience of one. That's my encouragement this morning. Because it will surprise us. That well done that will be given to the good and faithful servant that has been entrusted with good things by God. That good and faithful servant is the only one that is going to hear well done from the Lord. Not good and faithful servant from your perspective or from what the church says or from what your pastor says. It's what Jesus has to say when he's laid everything there. So make sure that your heart condition is right. Proverbs 4.23 Make sure that you are guarding your heart with all diligence and that Christ is your main audience. Actually, your only audience. God bless you today and I just wanted to have knowledge just on that. I love you all and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.